What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. We're about to head out right now to go see what we can find. But before we do that, please hit that like button if you guys are enjoying the videos. Subscribe down below if you guys want to see more. And drop a comment down below. I will try to respond to all the comments that I can. So let's go see what we can find. So literally the first two things I found walking into this store are these two snapbacks right here. They're right next to the door. And they're both $1.99 each, the Super Bowl champion Cowboys, and then that one. Then for $4.99, I found this Tommy Hilfiger button-down shirt, size large for $4.99. Pretty cool colorway. Got the little crest down there at the bottom. I found this Logo Athletic Michigan jacket, but they went $30 for it, size medium. And then on the back, you got Wolverines Michigan, but it does have some holes in it and stuff, so yeah, I'm probably not going to get it. We found a pair of Kilroy 9s, but these things are really beat, if you guys can see. They're all scratched up. They went $15 for them. I wish they were in better condition because as you can see they're pretty beat up but these actually are one of my favorite nines and they're a size 13 he'll figure athletics but nothing crazy for $8.99 you just have the little logo right there Legend of Zelda for $2.99 one of my personal favorite game franchises if I had to describe myself on one shirt I think this does it. Here's a polo sport jersey. Pretty snag and stain though. Thought I was onto something here for a minute, but unfortunately it is a 2014 reprint. If you guys can even see that. But what I did find for $5 is this Goku Kamehameha shirt for $4.99, size large. I also found this Sergio Ramos um, Spain jersey right here size large but I'm pretty sure it's fake because it feels super thin and all the ones that I've seen have patches on the sleeves and these don't have anything $2.99 Kanye for president 2020 so they have these LeBron 13s right I think these are like the all-stars or something maybe I don't know but uh, they want $15 for them look at this $15 for a shoe that the soul's missing on Power in your tea for $1.99. Looking a little funny though. Should I cop? It's only 65 cents. Camera died, so excuse the quality, but I found this Capcom shirt right here, Resident Evil on the back. I don't know which one this is though, but uh, that's only 95 cents. And then I also brought, found this 1992 Brooks and Dunn country um, shirt right here. I really like the colors on it. I'm not a country fan. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just really like the colors on it. So I might actually pick this up and keep it for myself for $1.99. Check out the denim jacket. It's $4.99, size large. This looks like it had something right here, but it came off. I guess this store started putting their own outfits together because you have for $6.99 this two-piece, this Shaq champion jersey. It's a youth large. But then they also have a pair of Nike basketball shorts. Um, yeah, so I guess you have to buy both of them if you want them. For $2.99, I found this Vineyard Vine shirt. You just got the big well on the back and then the little pocket on the front. Back here in this movie section, everything is a dollar. I found a couple of PS1 games, nothing too good though. I also found the Best of Goku on DVD. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Here's a couple more PS1 games that were down here. Not the greatest titles, but they are in really good shape. But let me show you some of the better stuff that I'm actually picking up. We got a loose copy of Mario Kart on the Wii. That's only a dollar. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for a dollar. Lion King on Blu-ray for only a dollar. And these probably are not the best GameCube games. But um, you can't tell from the video, but these things are like mint. They're complete. They feel like they've just got taken out the plastic, but anyway. We got this, um, I guess it's like a preview disc. It's not really a game for Star Wars Rebel Strike. True Crime Streets of LA with the little Snoop Dogg card. This one I was really sad about because even though it is a black label case, which even I'd pay a dollar just for that, but it has Avatar on the inside. And then there's a copy of Def Jam Vendetta, Lord of the Rings, 
007, Agent Under Fire, Mortal Kombat Deception, Sims Herbs, and Second Sight. And all those are like brand new. And they're all only a dollar a piece. So I was sitting here going, looking at these games some more and it turns out that this Mortal Kombat has the Scorpion card still in it, which is cool. Herb still has where you can download the Black Eyes P songs. Because <laughs> it says it's like a special edition free Black Eyes P music download. And then 007 is still sealed on the bottom. So yeah, I thought I would just share that. Alright, so I just came out of this store. Uh, you guys saw that I picked up all those GameCube games for a dollar a piece. And then that Lion King Blu-ray. But I also picked these up, but they were behind the glass. These were in an older video of mine. Um, but there was like so many people in the front counter that I didn't record this time. But um, you guys can go back to the older videos and see that they were there. But when uh, I saw them before, they wanted $80 for them. That's why I didn't get them. But today they were 44 So I went ahead and grabbed these. They're a size 13 though, which sucks. Or else I'd probably end up keeping them for myself. These uh, flu game 12s. But got those for $44. So now let's move on and go to the next door. Why every time I find these, they're fake. Look at that carbon fiber. We got another Dragon Ball Z shirt, size large for $1.99. I found these really old Nike golf shoes, I think, for $2.99. I'm sure they're from 86. I could be wrong, maybe you guys can let me know. Found this little Pac-Man arcade machine. They want $1.99 for it, but there's no battery cover and I have no idea if it works. Here is a gray vineyard vine sweater, size XL. They want $13 for it though. And then we got the members only jacket, $4.99 as is. It's got that plaid liner. And it has a couple stains on it, which is why it's as is. I remember how excited I was for this game because of how good 3 was. And then it came out and I was disappointed. This shirt gives me the motivation to work my puff into tough. I found this really cool Sonic the Hedgehog shirt. You got tails right there. And then I'm pretty sure that says Sonic in Japanese, but I don't know. Um, but while we're on the topic, this is what he's supposed to look like, not like this abomination. Like, I don't know why they can't get video game movies right, like, ever. I mean, I guess Detective Pikachu looks okay. I was just about to leave, and then I found this, this uh, Angry Beaver from 1998. I actually used to really love this show when I was little. You pull this. Some Kobe 9 pop arts for $8.99, size 8.5. I don't know why I was gonna say 7.5. Some old schools, some LeBron 12s. Not really too much else. Here's some white uh, Hirachi Ultras, I think these are called. They want a $9.99 for these. These are a size 8. Check out this bootleg Nike crew neck I found. You got air with the jump man, but look at that jump man. We got the double dare strap back <laughs> for $2.99. Don't know what happened to Porky Pig here. Here's a Teddy Bruschi Patriots Super Bowl jersey, but they want $20 for it, size large. Check out this dope Gengar shirt I found, and it's from T Public, where I actually buy all my t shirts from. <laughs> unpopular opinion but I hate this game I never got into this one here's some Stan Smith's with like some carpet in the back <laughs> never seen those check out the Dragon Ball Z shirt that I found for a dollar 99 size large uh, the boo saga is probably like my favorite saga of all Dragon Ball Z so I find this shirt pretty dope you got Gohan right there just as Saiyan man dead Goku in the background and you got trunks and Goten um, disguise so they can enter the men's competition and not the juniors. So that brings us to the end of this week's video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So later.